Right now, more than 40% of adults know someone who's lost their life to an overdose. A new study from the Rand Corporation sheds light on family and friends survivorship and how common it is for a family's world to be flipped completely upside down by an overdose death. 10 News reporter Maria Guzman shares the story of a Blount County father whose life dramatically changed from deadly overdoses. Family I once held dear are nowhere to be found. Addiction is not an individual event. It affects the entire family. For Tim Webb, here, words bring healing. You must rise. Get on your if feet. you don't find an outlet to help with the grief, you're going to carry it the rest of your life. Almost six years ago, Tim lost his daughter to an overdose. Since then, he's turned his grief into words sharing a father's loss of his daughter through writing. The denial, I went through hatred, I went through anger. It finally got to the point of acceptance. Brooke Webb was Tim's only daughter. She was very, very outgoing. A health condition at 15 years old led to prescribed medication, which later turned to morphine and heroin. She died from fentanyl poisoning. It was unknowingly mixed in with heroin. I said, baby, I love you too. I'll see you tomorrow. Well, six years later, I'm still waiting for that tomorrow. Brooke and her mom both died from an overdose, leading to Tim on a road of disbelief and denial. The hurt that every parent that's lost a child feels will subside to a certain point, but the emptiness will last forever. Programs like Family Support Services and Metro Drug Coalition help families navigate a loved one's battle of addiction. The majority of family members suffer in silence. Director of Development Webster Bailey at MDC says families at time arrive here feeling helpless. Usually their, their questions are, they begin with, why can't he just stop? He says a loved one's addiction can turn to feelings of mistrust, frustration and betrayal. Metro's Drug Coalition's Family Support Service Program is free and they do meet every Monday night. In Knox County, we've already lost 74 people to suspected drug overdoses this year, including 35 last month alone. Last year, we saw close to 500 deaths tied to drugs in the county. If you or someone you know is struggling with substance abuse, there is help out there. You can call the Tennessee Red Line at the number on your screen. It's available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week.